Today, I have found the perfect book tag for me. What's up friends, welcome back to another video. Today I have found the perfect book tag for me. This is the Slow Readers book tag created by Michaela May. The original video will be linked down below. I am a slow reader and I am called to this tag. This tag was created for me, I am a slow reader and I am happy to finally have some representation. So I'm gonna get right into the video. If you're a slow reader, hit subscribe because I am trying to hit 3000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's get started. The first question is, what's your Goodreads goal for the year? This year, I'm attempting to read 100 books. I never have, and just for once in my life, I want to try and do it. So far, I have reached 46 books. I have read some poetry collections. I read picture books, and I also read comics and graphic novels. And so hopefully, I will be able to get to this goal. I just want to see if I can reach it. If not, it's fine. Next is how many books do you read a month on average? The average I would say is eight. <laughs> okay. How many books did you read? Okay. Leo just wants to say hello. Uh, Luna also wants to say hello. The next question is how many books do you read per month on average? Three to five, I would say, depending on how busy my week is. I was talking about this in my live reading sprints for Readorama, and I was saying that it is very hard for me to balance all of my interests. I have a lot of interest, including watching YouTube, watching Twitch. I also like playing The Sims and I also like reading and writing. It's really hard to balance all of my interests. For this question, I'm thinking of a contemporary that is either 300 to 400 pages. That's gonna take me three to five days depending on what I'm doing that week. So that is the answer to that question. Oh, I like this. Are you always reading or do you take breaks in between? I take breaks in between. There are some weeks that I don't finish a book there are some weeks that I read three books. So just like I said in the last question, it really depends on my week. I do take breaks because reading is not my only interest or hobby. So I am not spending all of my time reading. Like I said in the last question, I spend my time doing all of my other interests as well. This question is tough. What happens with me is I will read a book and be in the middle of it and then I put it down because I have other obligations. Maybe I'm doing a secret TBR video and I just don't get around to it. Off the top of my head, I cannot think of a book that has taken me very long to read. If I do while editing, I will insert it here. Next is do big books intimidate you because you know you'll be spending a lot of time with them. Absolutely. There are so many books that are so large that I'm like, I can't do that unless I have the audiobook. That's the only way. I cannot see a big book and get excited. <laughs> I am just not that type of person just because I know that will probably be a book that takes me months to read. Um, <laughs> seriously, if there's a book that is 700 pages, that is a deal breaker for me. I will not go out of my way to read that. <laughs> Which book have you read in one day? A book that I've read in one day is He Who Dreams by Melanie Florence. This is about a boy who is Irish and Cree and he discovers dancing and he gets more in touch with his heritage. I really enjoyed this book and I read it for my video where I had Bookopoly pick my TBR. Next is what book genre takes you the longest to read? A definitely high fantasy. There's a reason I don't read fantasy or high fantasy books because learning the world is very difficult for me. I talk about this a lot on my channel, but I do have bad reading comprehension and I've had it my whole life. And starting booktube and reading more has definitely helped me develop better reading comprehension. But I do tend to struggle with world building, which is why I read more nonfiction and contemporary books. So fantasy is definitely one that I am not going to read anytime soon, unless if there's an audiobook. That's my only exception. A book you regret reading because you spent so much time with it for so little payoff. <laughs> I could say two books for this, Again But Better and What If It's Us. I don't regret reading these books because 
I am glad I read them to know that I didn't like them um, just so that I won't have to go through that pain again. But those are two books that I was just like, why? <laughs> Honestly, the time travel aspect of Again But Better has scarred me from ever reading a time travel book again. <laughs> The last question is to recommend fellow slow readers a book. Maybe it's fast paced, Taylor as well. It's a slow reading book you love so much you think it deserves a lot of time, etc. I would have to say He Who Dreams. I think that's a quick one. Um, I would also say any graphic novels. Heartstopper is very quick. Check Please is another really good one. Some poetry collections, they're really good. I just read Nature Poem by Tommy Pico and I really enjoyed that collection. I think poetry is a really good short book. If you're in the reading mood but you don't feel like picking up a full novel, I would definitely recommend some comics, graphic novels, or any poetry collection. So that is the slow reader book tag. Thank you to Michaela for creating this. I am a slow reader and I don't think that slow readers are talked about enough on booktube. So thank you for this book tag. I'm gonna tag some fellow slow readers down below. And if you wanna do this book tag, definitely do it and check out Michaela's channel. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up for engagement and comment down below. If you're a slow reader and if you're not, comment down below a short book that people will enjoy. Let's flood the comments with some book recommendations and if you don't want to do that just comment down below a book emoji so I know you stay till the end. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there and I will see you all next time. Bye.